Okay, so we're going to do a, a video here on short interest and days to cover. Now, the definitive uh, website for the short interest is the NASDAQ itself. Uh, it, but it's, it's a bit cumbersome. There's, there are some other sites which I'll get to, which you can go to and, and look up the same information. It's, a bit, the, it's put together a bit better. But for instance, uh, so this is the NASDAQ um, and the short interest page. So we want to, let's say, for example, Fran is an interesting stock because that's what's moving. So we type in Fran, uh, gives us Francesco Holdings. And it, it, you have to scroll down. It shows uh, the chart and uh, information about it. But then we get down to the short interest. Now, the important thing about short interest is that, um, so this is the number of shares that are declared short on the stock. This is people have shorted the stock, borrowed the stock, and this is the, this is the number of shares that are short. Currently, now you'll see that this comes out every 15 days at the end of the month and the middle of the month. So in this case, uh, the short interest number, the number of shares that are short, which is the short interest, is 13 days old. They'll publish this again on Monday. There'll be a new short interest number. So you have to always keep that in, in the back of your mind that this is aged data. It's not current, it's aged. And so the end of the month and the middle of the month are when they report it. So on, on um, the uh, uh, Fran, uh, it has, uh, I, don't, I don't see it here where it says how many shares are outstanding. Uh, well, it's, it does have a 58 million market cap. So it has about three, and a half, 3 million shares outstanding. So we'll just use that as a rough number. Some of the other sites, it shows the amount. So anyways, so the sh out of 3 million shares that are outstanding, this, is, this has 1.1 million shares uh, of the um, short. So half the stock is short, not quite half, 40%. Prior to this recent spike up, the average daily volume was about 75,000 uh, a day. That means that the, the days to cover DTC is 15 and a half days. So what does that mean? What it means is that if if you took the short interest, which is 1.1 million shares, and only shorts bought the stock. Now, this is just a theoretical number. You have to remember this is just a this is just a calculation to give give some guidance. It doesn't really mean anything because, in actual fact, it would never take 15 days to cover. Because what it means though is that of the if if only the shorts were buying uh 1.1 million shares if they all bought at the average volume of 75,000 shares a day it would take them if nobody else was buying and just the shorts were buying at the average volume it would take them 15 and a half days to buy all their stock back that's what that means so and I'll get into what this, what that, what that relates to. But I do have an, another site that I use, and this is called the Short Interest, Short Squeeze. Pardon me, ShortSqueeze.com. On this one, you can just type in the, the symbol, and it'll show you. Uh, and of course, I don't subscribe to it, so there's other things that it hides. But you can see in here. Um, the short interest is much the same as what the NAS or the Nasdaq reported, one million one hundred and sixty-three thousand. So it's a little less than the fifteen days prior to that. Uh, you can see here the short percentage of float, forty percent to close to forty-one percent. Now, because the volume has increased so much in recent 
past three, four, five days, it's only 1.5 days to cover. The uh, NASDAQ uses probably a, you know, a, a 90 day average or 30 day average price. Um, maybe it's just 15 days, 15 day average volume to get their days to cover. This one has moved it up and so now it's only 1.5 days to cover. But if we go back to the NASDAQ one where it was 15 days to cover, I have a theory about this. We can see here if the average volume was 75,000, it would take 15 and a half days to cover. My theory is that if the short interest is less than five days to cover, then uh, and a catalyst now this only comes into let's go back a step the larger the short position the more bearish people are on the stock bigger short positions big selling into the market drives the market down but the problem not the problem with that but the upshot to that is you can see this thing's come now. This may this was split one for twelve, so this is not from three hundred. It's from thirty dollars or less. But this has come from thirty dollars uh, down to twenty five cents pre-split in rough terms. So you have this huge short position, and the bigger the short position, the more bearish people are on the chart, and and as they should be because this. Came from 300 to 250 to $2.50 post split. So it's not surprising that they think this company is going out of business. So, in a downtrending market, a big short position uh, only continues to, you know, and they just continue to hammer it down. It doesn't make any difference, it's big or small. Where it makes a difference is, is if there's a positive catalyst. Now all those shorts have to cover. And the bigger the short position, the more days it's going to take to cover. And the more pressure it's going to put on the upside. Don't forget, every time you sell a stock short, um, you are giving built-in buying to the stock because eventually you have to buy back your, your position. And therefore, you are adding support to the company, not even though you're shorting it, eventually you have to buy it and that's support for the stock when you decide to cover your position. Now, if more people are selling, as in this case, and the volume dries up, uh, it just falls under its own weight and away it goes. And this probably was close to bankruptcy or something because it got it did get down to 280 so that's 20 cents. Uh, and then they split it one for 12 a little bit more than 20 cents, 22 cents. Okay, so 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 then what happens? So we get a, a big short position, kaboom, and, it, and we have no volume, 75,000. So now we've got a 15 days to cover. Then you get a catalyst. And that's where the short interest and the days to cover, I think, comes into, is becomes important. Uh, my theory is that if there is five or less days to cover and you have a catalyst, then the buying that's going to be brought in by the shorts covering is going is not going to give any momentum to the stock. F less than five days to cover doesn't mean anything. I mean, there's a catalyst. Some of the people will have to scramble to cover, but in fact, it won't add any real momentum to the stock. If you have between five and 10 days to cover and you get uh, a, a, a positive catalyst, earnings or, or you know, drug news or whatever the case may be, um, if between five and 10 days to cover, then that's going to add momentum to the trade. And you can expect maybe a two or three additional days uh, or one or two days of additional pressure to the upside of the market as as uh, shorts get squeezed and they have to cover. So 5 and 10 is going to add momentum to the trade. And so you can ride that. Where it gets 
where you really get the move though is when there's over 10 days uh, shorts to cover, DTC days to cover. Um, over 10 days, my I say let the fireworks begin, and this is exactly what's happened with with Fran. You get this huge short position, 40% of the stock, no volume in the stock, and kaboom, off it goes. Now, don't, don't forget, a lot of this now shorts are just shorting to shorts. Shorts are shorting to the covering shorts, and you know there's and eventually you run out of steam because nobody's actually buying this. It's just the short selling to shorts and you get the big short squeeze and eventually, um, and that's quite often what happens when you get these big long wicks. We see, see that where you get these big long wicks, it's short covering. Um, but once that short covering dries up, then the stock falls back. But in this case, we do have the, uh, we have good news. It was strong earnings uh, accompanied by uh, a, DTC, a DTC of 15 days to cover and you get this huge squeeze on it and you can expect that this continues to squeeze uh, for I don't know maybe another few days another day or two but you can go long the stock and, and, and hold it overnight because you're with that much short that needs to be covered on a and this big move I mean if these people shorted it you know it in the four or five or eight dollar range or even you know up yeah, even up to 20 bucks. Everybody's scrambling to, to cover their position and you get this big short. Um, so that's that's the that's what how short interest, number of shares short, and DTC days to cover come into play uh, when you're trading stocks.